Hey good people, welcome back to my channel, Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. It's been a while since I've really introduced myself and over the past like couple of weeks, I've seen like an increase in subscribers and so I just wanna introduce myself again to you all. My name is Kara, I am 39. I am a mom of two boys, one is nine, one is five, and I'm a second grade teacher. About a year or so ago, I just really started getting into makeup and it has just, I don't know, it's, it's just been an explosion, a makeup explosion, I would say, over this past year. And it's just become a huge passion of mine. A beauty in the Frizz obviously stands for the fact that I love everything to do with beauty and I've fallen in love with it. And the Frizz, you know I have frizzy hair, but it also comes from Miss Frizzle. If you're familiar with the Magic School Bus, here comes Cam. <laughs> Miss Frizzle is my teaching idol. She is the ultimate teacher and the nickname that her students give her is the Frizz. So Beauty and the Frizz is like my little take on Beauty and the Beast. I thought it was cute. So anyway, if this is your first time coming, welcome. Today, I am doing my very first favorites video and it's gonna be for the month of September. So if you're interested to see what I'm using and what I'm loving, keep on watching this video and don't forget to leave me some comments. Definitely consider subscribing and joining my community because you know I want you to come back. All right, let's get started. of beauty youtubers do their monthly favorites and that's kind of what this is but it's not gonna just be beauty favorites I'm gonna be covering my life favorites okay not just beauty beauty's gonna be there of course I'm gonna be doing some beauty favorites so that will include makeup and skincare I'm gonna do some of my style favorites some of my health favorites and some of my tech favorites because one thing about me is I love technology and that's like one of the best things I love about doing YouTube is the tech side. So it's like a win-win for me because I'm such a geek sometimes. Let's get started with the beauty part, the makeup and skincare. Everything that I am sharing, I am definitely gonna link in the description box just in case you know you're looking for something or something speaks to you. I'm all about sharing. You've probably heard me talk about this a gazillion times. This has become an everyday staple for me when I wear makeup. This is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I'm gonna go through this kind of quick because I have a lot of favorites apparently. There are three lights. There's dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light. I love this as a setting powder. Sometimes I just swipe and do all three. Some people like a lighter under eye, so you might just wanna use the middle one. I tend to use uh, this one here, but they're all good. I usually place this everywhere where I conceal and it just gives you this subtle, subtle glow. Not a highlight, but just a subtle glow that really looks good in person. So this was definitely worth it. I bought this back in April and it's just become something that I really love. Also by Hourglass, I have two more products. These two new blushes that were released. The first one, this is the one I really use all the time, Sublime Flush Look at this so beautiful i mean i am always reaching for this one i think it is gorgeous and then i also have at night which is also beautiful so you have that ambient powder mixed in with the color and i just feel like the effect of that on the cheek is really nice i do agree with everybody that hourglass needs to get their shade ranges together i will say that i have been loving two bronzers one i think this is everyone's favorite this is the charlotte tilbury airbrushed bronzer i wear this in the shade tan always reaching for this bronzer as well as the milani silky matte bronzer this is the shade sun drenched this is beautiful and you know like I said, I have no problem with drugstore makeup versus luxury. I think these are both equally as good. These both replace my Fenty. I still wear my Fenty. Fenty's up there too. But for September, I've been going for these two bronzers. Now also from Milani, this Keep It Smooth Luxe Lip Treatment. I'm always finding myself going for this. I keep it by my bedside and put it on before bed. And just throughout the day, whenever I need a balm, I don't wear a lot of lipstick and I don't put makeup on every day, but I, I'm finding myself going for this. I like the way it makes my lips feel. 
It's really smooth and it smells great. So that is one of my favorites this month. Next we have two products that I use on my brows and my eyes. My first is my P. Louise Base. Oh my gosh, this is so great for priming your eyes, for your eyeshadow. What I do is I carve out my brows and then I just take it all over the eye and pat it. And then I set that with the Hourglass Ambient Powder. Um, I don't always carve out my brows. For these looks that I do on here, I always do. And I love it because it covers up brow hairs, you know, so when I don't tweeze, like this covers it up. So I don't even do my eyebrows as much. And then sometimes I'm like, oh, whoa, I need to do that. But this covers any unwanted hairs that you don't want to show. Then I have my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is just a black one. I love the micro brow pencils. And last for makeup, it's gonna be my Sydney Gray Single Shadows. At this point, I think you may have seen this palette a few times. I am not tired of it. I think that the quality of these eyeshadows is like an A++++. And I just really enjoy creating my looks. I love being able to move the shades around and just, you know, organize them and group them and create different color stories. When I wanna feel inspired, this is something that I can pull out. And when I wanna have that creativity, I don't want that all the time, but when I do, this is so perfect for that. And they were just on Behind the Beauty with uh, Kelsey Brianna J, Kinky Sweat, and Glam Girl Chelsea. And they had a Behind the Beauty bundle. I bought that, so I will be trying one of their cream shades. And I think I got a couple more shades to fill up my little baby right here. So, love Sydney Grace eyeshadows. I would say that's been my product of the month for September. So the last thing I'm actually wearing are these lashes. So these lashes are on Amazon. They are by a brand named Christina. Sorry, I don't have anyone here, but, but this is the brand here. They come in bulk and I mean, they're so cheap. So when I do mess up, I don't feel bad about having to trash these. They're not cheap quality at all, but they are very inexpensive. And like I said, I got these from Amazon. So I really do enjoy these. I will link these. And if you do want to practice with lashes, you know, I think these are great to start with. I like this look because these aren't a dramatic look at all. You know, I feel like they still look pretty realistic. They just give you a little, a little length. So that's it for my makeup faves. Let's talk skincare. A couple of months ago, I did do a video on my Tatcha skincare routine. I was brand new to Tatcha and just ordered like, you know, everything that was in their recommended ritual. I am still using my products daily. I did run out of the, the moisturizer, so I do use something else for that, which I will show you. But so in my skincare routine, I'm using the One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. So I love this, this is almost gone. And then after that, I use the Classic Rice Polish. And then, so that's what it looks like. And then on top of that, I use the Essence, which is a plumping skin softener. I love this stuff. Uh, I think the reason why I like it so much is just because it's really lightweight. It doesn't have a scent. It's just very gentle. I also have Fenty skin, but I cannot deal with the smell. I use it, but I'm just not happy about the smell, but I will use it. Now for my moisturizer, um, you'll see this is kind of beat up but it's, it is by Naturally Serious and it is the anti-pollution repair cream. Um, it is very thick, it lasts a long time. Um, I have had this also since April and you just need a couple of dots and your face is moisturized. I really love this and it says Skin Warrior, so you know, you know it's thick. So um, you know, you can apply this over your clean skin in the morning and at night and you only need a little bit, so a little goes a long way with this. I also am loving this Neutrogena Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Spot Gel. So because my, probably my water consumption is terrible, I just feel like I'm getting these breakouts. I don't know, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Um, it's been clearing up though, because I've been trying to drink a lot more water, but I feel like this is really quick, and if I feel like a pimple or something coming, just bringing it out. Just bring it on out so we can get rid of it, and I feel like this does that. And with that, one of my holy life grails is tea tree oil. 
I just tried this brand Rad Radha for the first time from Amazon, but I usually buy my oils from Eden's Garden or Plant Therapy. Tea tree oil you need to have in your house. I may have said it before. It helps with everything, dandruff, skin, breakouts, it's antibacterial, it's antifungal. It just smells so medicinal when you diffuse it. I always put drops of this in the shower. When I take a shower or when my boys take their showers, I just feel like it's a holy grail oil and I can do a whole another video about essential oils because I have a pretty large collection, but I'm getting back into my oils because I, I had kind of gotten away from it for a little while. And um, yeah, tea tree oil. This is right here. Mm -hmm. Now last for skin, now last for skincare. I'm almost out of this. This is the Very Cherry Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm by Pharmacy, and this was made for BoxyCharm, which I no longer subscribe to because it really wasn't um, curbing my makeup expenditures. So, you know, I, I did cancel it, but I love this stuff, so I am gonna be trying to find a replacement. I know Milani has one, and Pharmacy may make another version of this, but this is so good with melting away your makeup even eye makeup so i just love that because you're not rubbing and tugging on your skin and you're moisturizing it at the same time so i usually put this on and then i use my cleansers so that's my skincare those are my skincare favorites i'm trying to go through this you know quick but i really want to show but i really want to show everything oh i forgot to take out my Okay, so some of my little lifestyle Amazon favorites. Okay, a lot of people, sorry about the light, but I need to get back in. A lot of people ask me about these. These are my holders for my Pat McGrath. So my star ones hold my minis and my quads, which I will be adding to. Hopefully have added to because I think those are coming out on the 9th and it's past that according to when this video is gonna upload. I also have these little easels and I have one for my um, beauty Bible, but then I started to use them for my, um, my little Tom Ford quads. So they go like this. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, they go like that. And I have that on my dresser. <laughs> and then I have these. These are the uh, motherships. You see Celestial Divinity in the back right there. And these are really just book holders. I looked up rose gold book holders on Amazon and found these. So I think they do have them in gold and silver. But yes, that's where I got them from. A couple of people have asked me and I've sent them the link, but I will put them on Amazon because they're awesome. Like, I mean, who doesn't like rose gold? It's like, it's okay if you don't like rose gold though. Ooh, I forgot to mention my, um, for makeup, my Pat McGrath concealer. I'm not getting any other concealer anymore. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. So two more things in the style category. So my buzz ears, oh my goodness. I love my buzz ears so much. So here's the thing with the ears. It started out with my autism ears. I got those from Etsy. And then recently I just started collecting them. So at work, I work on a team Team with two other ladies and they are Disney fanatics and I love Disney and superheroes and all that stuff but I mean fanatic like, I don't I don't know how else to explain it so I just started collecting these ears and it just became a thing now I order these ears off of Amazon and most of them are from Disney World they will have a tag on them that say Disney Parks some of these ears are really expensive but I always try to get the ones that are like no more than either $19.99 or like $24.95. But yeah, the prices change because it's like different sellers selling them and they do have some really expensive ones, but I do plan on adding to my collection. The last ones I got were from Etsy and those were Beauty and the Beast ones and I wanted to get them obviously because of Beauty and the Frizz. And um, I really like those better than the actual Disney Parks ones. So I did get those from Etsy and the ones on Etsy are a little bit more expensive because you know someone's making them by hand but I think by far like this month I have been loving my buzz ears and they're just so cute I just love these mini ears I wear these when I teach my students by the way it's like sometimes like it's kind of like my little signature like when I go to work 
some days I wear like little aprons and things like that. So I like to wear the ears and I don't wear them every day, but I do wear them pretty often. I just think it's something that the kids, you know, they like and get engaged in. And then last but not least for style, recently I've been picking up these, um, these graphic tees. So another thing about me is I love graphic t-shirts, like the ones that you get from Walmart. I think they took those big shelves out of Walmart with the graphic tees, but I have so many. I love graphic tees. Graphic tees, Converse's. See, I got my hoodie on, like I'm ready for this sweater weather. So this is one of the shirts I got recently that I love. Now, I think this is from Bold Mad Flavor or Melanin, something Melanin. I'm going to have to link those. You know I'm gonna link all this stuff, but I just can't remember which t-shirts are from which place. So I love this t-shirt. So, you know, basically it says, my history started with, and then slavery is crossed out. And it says, emperors, kings, queens, inventors, and innovators. You know, just, just telling the truth, you know? I mean. <laughs> and then this one is just like all the melanin shades. This one I probably have to like knot up because it's a little, it's a little big, but I don't care. So it says melanin, ebony, chocolate, mocha, espresso, coffee, cocoa, caramel, and honey. Now the only thing is here, hold on now. First of all, I feel like they didn't even include my shade. Cause none of these are my shade. I'm French vanilla. French vanilla butter pecan chocolate deluxe. I'm mad. Okay, but I still love that shirt. Okay, so that's it for style. Um, so next is health. I don't know if y'all can see it. Hold on, y'all about to see my light. Oop. See that right there? That's my Peloton. So this is my Peloton. There's Cam. And there's my light that I'm always talking about. But yes, this was my little treat to myself. It's got the weights. Oh, and I really have a hard time getting the shoes out. So sometimes I just leave them in because it's just a lot. I know, I know. Don't even say anything. We just, that's, that's what it is. A couple years I bought a bike on Amazon and I said that if I kept up with it, I would eventually get myself a Peloton. And it's been about two years. I've been pretty consistent with it. And with quarantine, you know, I stopped going to the gym. And I was doing keto for a while. I do keto on and off, but I was just like, forget it. Like all this is going on. You only live once, I'm getting my bike. I'll do a payment plan if I need to. Like I really want it, I know I'll use it. And I absolutely love it. One of the things that I love about it, the instructors, it goes so much beyond the exercise. They drop so many life gems. They are so motivating and so like self empowering and they really encourage that in the riders. Yeah, so they're super motivating and I think about the feeling that I have when I get off. Like this morning, like I just, it was like six o'clock. The bike was calling me. It was six o'clock. I was like, get on, just get on. Like they have 20 minute rides, they have toning. I mean, they have everything. And if you don't have a Peloton, you can still get the app and do the rides because that's what I started doing while I was waiting for mine to come and Al Feisty has one so I'm hoping that we can do a little bike date one day soon and Morgan Turner also got hers like at the beginning of quarantine and with Morgan I've been watching her like you know say she's doing her workouts and stuff and I absolutely love it now yes you can get a good workout from you know, something else. But like I said, this is something I got because this is something I said I was gonna do if I stay consistent and I feel like I have. Last but not least for health, and tea tree oil is health too, but last but not least for health, this was one of the items that was left in my fantasy Sephora cart, the thousand dollar Sephora fantasy cart. It was this and the Natasha Denona Metropolis. And I ended up getting it and love these and I'm about to have to order some more. So these are the eight greens gummies and they are made from real greens. They have spinach, aloe vera, wheatgrass, kale, barley grass, blue green algae, spirulina, and chlorella. And you take two a day. This is what's in two of the gummies. There's vitamin B5, so that's 15 cups of broccoli. Uh, there's six oranges, enough vitamin C as six oranges, enough vitamin B6 as six cups of spinach, enough vitamin B12 as seven cups of milk, and enough zinc as three cups of peas. I like this, I don't have a problem eating vegetables, but I don't think I have the best eating. So this really makes me happy. I like how they taste, I don't know. 
but I do. It really don't taste bad for all that stuff in there, for real. Almost done. Okay, so my last area is the area of tech. As I said, the tech side of YouTube is something I really, really enjoy. And I just, I just, I've always loved technology. I've always been good with it. And it's just something I really love. So I'm gonna show you some things I've been using a lot this month. So one of the things is my external hard drive. So I use my MacBook to, I don't use my MacBook to edit, but I, send all my videos there to upload onto YouTube. And those videos take up so much space. So all of my videos that I've done, um, you know, since I started in May, are housed on this Toshiba flash drive that I got, or not a flash drive, but this hard drive that I got from Amazon. I think it's what, yeah, it's one terabyte. So it's holding a lot of videos. It's it's probably over halfway full. So I am probably gonna have to get another one soon. And I just labeled it YouTube. And as soon as I get my videos uploaded, I take them off and put them on this um, hard drive. And you know, they're in a very safe and special place. This is very light. It's easy to carry around and I'm so happy to have this. Again, I ordered this from Amazon. The other thing that I'm loving is this dual USB charger. These are my extra camera batteries. I learned very quickly that one camera battery is not gonna be enough. Now, these aren't, my camera's a Canon and these are not Canon extra batteries, but my Canon battery does work in this charger and these batteries work very fine in my Canon. So I love having this. That way when one dies, I'm ready to go and switch out because before I had the extra batteries, I would have to just wait and that sucks because I only, I have very limited time. So I can just pull them out, pop them in, put the other one, put it on a charger. And then I have my uh, charger that came with the camera. So I've always got charged batteries now. So that is, Really exciting. Okay, and then I have two more things left and then we are done. Last for my September favorites. Okay, so I started out using iMovie for my editing software on my iPad. Um, I actually started editing on my phone, but then I started using my iPad and this is actually a new iPad because I was trying to be slick and watch YouTube videos in the shower with my other one and it didn't have a case on it, so that broke. But this is my new iPad and I bought the software called LumaFusion and it was $30. I would go ahead and bet that this works just as good as Final Cut Pro. And the reason that I love this so much is because I edit all of the time. I edit when I use the bathroom. I edit at other people's houses. I can't be bringing that heavy MacBook Pro into the bathroom all the time. It's just too much. So this is like, LumaFusion is great. I love it because it gives me the same ability to use my fingers like I did with iMovie on my iPad. And I just love the way my videos are turning out. When I started using LumaFusion, I bought this bootleg Apple Pencil off of Amazon. And I would go ahead and bet that it works just as well as an Apple Pencil. So you know an Apple Pencil costs $99, I believe. I think this one was $26.99. And all you do is just turn it on and it just started working. I didn't have to set it up. I didn't have to hook it up. I mean, it works beautifully with the iPad. Like for notes, you can actually just, y'all gonna see my geeky side coming out now cause like this is my thing. Now look, you can, I don't know, cause I don't mind trying to drop it again. But you can actually write and you know, use your pencil and actually write and it, it will type it for you or you can save it like this. But even for text messages now, you can actually use the pencil to write or I guess your finger too. And I love that. Like, and then I got this nice little snazzy case and then I can put my pencil in there and see this is like so much easier to carry around. So if I'm cooking, I can like set my little iPad up, watch videos or edit or whatever I need to do. And then I just airdrop my video to my computer. This is probably an extra step because I know I can probably just upload directly to YouTube, but it's just easier because I have my thumbnails and I have um, like my tube buddy and everything set up. So when I send this there and just plug it up onto YouTube, everything is there, but 
This right here, mm, this is my baby right here. I think that covers it. Those are my favorites for the month of September. I really like doing this video because I feel like it's allowing me to kind of document what I'm using and what I'm not using. I think that, you know, now that I'm really figuring myself out with makeup and style, I just have to kind of pace myself and not, you know, want to jump at every launch because I'm not going to say I have any fails, but I definitely have products that I'm not using as much as I expected to. And I think it's one, because I have a lot of makeup and two, because it's just not calling to me. So I gotta like not get so like drawn in by the, by the swatches or whatever the case may be. And I'm really gonna work on that. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that, like products, you know, I, I thought I'd love, but I'm not using, yeah because it's probably more than I'd like to um, admit. But in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different and it wasn't a makeup look or anything like that. It was just a little chit chat, but you know, it's nice to do some different things sometimes. So thank you guys for taking a little bit of time and giving it to me. Thank you so much for just hanging out with me. Just make sure that you're talking to yourself nice, be gentle with yourself, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.